Hey everybody, welcome to New York City. We are here in Central Park, and this is only a day before we're gonna board the beautiful Princess Cruises Enchanted Princess. The cruise will leave tomorrow from New York City, but today we have a chance to explore all over New York City. And when you're in Central Park, what do you do? You take a carriage ride, come along. Princess sails from New York throughout the year to the seaside towns in Canada and New England. The white and sandy beaches in the Caribbean, the historic Panama Canal, world cruise segments, and is the gateway to Greenland. Whether you sailed out of New York already or this is your first time, you'll definitely learn something new about taking a cruise out of this beautiful destination. It's a beautiful day to set sail and I'm ready to board the Enchanted Princess one of the newest ships in the fleet and is a medallion class ship offering the latest innovations to princess guests, dazzling entertainment and relaxing top deck retreats. Walking onto the ship and being greeted by so many excited crew members is always a major highlight of the overall cruise experience. The Royal Class Atrium is also known as the ship's heart and soul. It is a beautiful space for guests to enjoy throughout the duration of their cruise. This multi-story venue on board serves as an entertainment space and beautiful lounge. After boarding, I decided it was time for a quick bite. The World Fresh Marketplace has everything for guests from serving breakfast to lunch and dinner. This casual dining experience is delicious and has every delight that a guest would want for dining. There are so many other delicious dining venues to explore on board. Don't worry, we will definitely stop by those too during the cruise. Let's take a look at my stateroom on board the beautiful Enchanted Princess. With the use of the Princess app and technology on board, it was so simple to find my stateroom. No more hassles with key cards or keys. There is so much amazing technology on the Enchanted Princess, which makes it effortless to navigate and heighten the cruise experience. The safety training process gets even easier with medallion class. Just watch the safety video on your phone or stateroom TV and check in at your muster station with your medallion at your convenience so you can start enjoying your cruise vacation sooner. These staterooms range from 214 to 222 square feet, floor to ceiling glass doors, a comfortable queen or two twin beds and much more. The spacious accommodations within the stateroom, such as the closet and bathroom, are perfect for those sharing with others. Now that I'm familiar with my stateroom, it's time to take a look at what else the beautiful Enchanted Princess has to offer. The Piazza is a stunning bar located within the three-story atrium, inspired by the vibrant squares of Europe. This venue serves gourmet coffees, wines for guests to enjoy through their entire voyage. Relive the roots of jazz each evening with live musicians performing brilliant classics and telling tales of cruise jazz legends throughout the ages at the first Jazz Theater at Sea, exclusively on the Sky, Enchanted, and Discovery Princess. Welcome to the Crooner's Bar get transported into the classic Sinatra era, made complete with delicious cocktails, top-notch pianists and guitarists each night throughout the voyage. What a great way to end the day than here at Gigi's Pizzeria. Freshly cut pizza, very thin, right from the oven. Mm. Gigi's Pizzeria serves hand-tossed pizza. The open kitchen concept design allows you to watch as the chefs create pizza by hand and serve them right out of the oven. Now the dinner is over, it's time to close out the day and prepare for a day at sea tomorrow. Welcome to the first day at sea. Let's take a look at the dining experiences on board. Be enticed by the interior design and decor of all these dining venues throughout the ship. These key areas are delightful to spend time at and dine in. There are so many offerings the Enchanted Princess has for guests, and with the advanced technology the Princess provides, it makes it simple to reserve any of these experiences. 
And with Princess Premier, get two nights of specialty dining included. This was such an easy process, and it's also fun to plan ahead to get the most out of your cruise vacation. Dress sharp for a formal night. As you walk through the promenade deck, take advantage of the professional photographers on board to help capture your vacation memories. And with Princess Premier, you get unlimited digital images taken by our onboard photographers and three prints of your favorites. Somebody to love the entertainment on board is rocking. We just left the Princess Theater and we saw the Rock Opera. This is a collection of rock from Aerosmith, the Queen. People were on their feet and they were rocking. We're going to take some rest now and prepare for another great day. Welcome to Boston Common, the oldest public park in the USA. Let's explore. The Public Gardens in Boston is a large park in the heart of Boston, adjacent to Boston Commons. It's part of the Emerald Necklace system of parks and is bounded by Charles Street, as well as the Boston Commons to the east. The land of the Public Garden was the earliest filled as the area is now Charles Street and has been used as a rope walk since 1796. We've arrived at Newberry Street, one of the most opulent streets in North America, only to be compared to Rodeo Drive in Los Angeles or 57th Street in New York City. The street has all the brands from one end to the other, and on the weekend, the street is closed just for pedestrians. This popular dining, shopping, and entertainment district highlighting Newberry Street's beautiful 19th century brownstones is home to hundreds of retail locations and eateries. This street has earned its reputation over the years as one of the most expensive streets in the world. The iconic area in Boston is 2.5 miles and connects 16 nationally significant sites, each one an authentic treasure. Faneuil Hall, hailed as a cradle of liberty, is a Georgian-style building adjacent to two-story, 27,000-square-foot Quincy Market, considered the social center of Boston. This indoor pavilion has over a hundred shops and ambience of eating establishments. It's such a great stop within the tour, mainly because we get to enjoy a delicious lunch. Welcome to the infamous Lexington Green. On April 19th, 1775, less than a hundred Minutemen faced 700 British soldiers. A shot rang out and skirmish began and launched the American Revolution. See the Henry H. Kitson statue erected in 1900 that memorializes the Lexington Minutemen. Concord played a leading role in American history. Lovingly restored, the bridge is famous for its shot heard around the world, the site of the first American victory in the Revolutionary War. Welcome to Harvard, one of the most prestigious universities in Boston and in the world. We are right here in the heart of it in Harvard Square. Students all over, the history, the excitement of actually being here. Harvard Square is a triangular plaza at the intersection of Massachusetts Avenue, Brattle Street, and John F. Kennedy Street near the center of Cambridge, Massachusetts. Today we had such a long, exciting day to experience all the history of Boston, Massachusetts. Now that we are back on board, I'm going to unwind and get some food delivered to my stateroom to refresh before the night ahead. Get food, drinks, and more delivered to wherever you are on board. Using your Medallion and Medallion Class app, you can avoid crowds at the bar and still enjoy this beautiful sail away sunset. The sunset leaving Boston is gorgeous and simply defines how wonderful the day was. Tomorrow we'll be experiencing the wonders of Bar Harbor, Maine. Now I'm gonna get some rest and we'll kick off our next adventure tomorrow morning. As we dock here in Bar Harbor, all I wanna do is look across the sea at all the nature surrounding the Enchanted Princess. There is already so much to see, and I couldn't be more excited to share it with you.
Welcome to Bar Harbor, Maine. We've just come ashore on the tender. It is a glorious day here. And yes, Bar Harbor is an island. It's the largest town on Mount Desert Island. We're here with a great vantage point of the Enchanted Princess behind me, and we're super excited to explore all that Bar Harbor has to offer. Take a look at the fall here at Bar Harbor. From the colorful trees to the crispy sunny weather, Bar Harbor is transforming into its fall season. Bar Harbor serves as a gateway to the mountain and cliffs of Arcadia Park. Named specifically for its sandbar and low tide, this fascinating place is a hub for those who love nature and a relaxing pace of life. Ranked as one of the most popular summer destinations in the United States, this is one of the most gorgeous places for tourists to visit during the year. With these overlooked points throughout the island, you will definitely be able to spot the ship and take an amazing photo. If shopping is more up your alley, there are so many little shops and boutiques and local spots to check out while visiting. Maine's lobster set the standard by which all the world lobsters are judged. And today, Maine is the country's largest lobster producer, with 100 million pounds of lobster caught each year. Now that we're back on board after exploring, it's time to relax and check out another space. Exclusively on Princess Good Spirits at Sea, is a unique bar where every drink is an experience and tells a story, connecting you to those around you, regional flavors around the world. And with Princess Premier, top shelf drinks up to $18 each are included. To learn more while on board, you can catch the original series on the Medallion Class app or your stateroom TV. Bill Panoff here with Porthole Cruise and Travel, and we're here uh, on board the Enchanted Princess, and it's a great honor to be with the Commodore of the vessel, Commodore Nick. Nick, how are you? Very good, and it's good to have you on board, and in my office. In your office, and uh, it's, it's a beautiful day. The seas are very, very calm, and uh, well done. Well, that's the good thing about cruising. I always say we're the last of the Elizabethans. We go from uh, port to port and just affected by the wind and tides. What is your favorite part of the Enchanted Princess? Personally, as I'm a sailor, I like the bridge. And I like it very early in the morning when I go up there for 5.30, 6 o'clock and I have a nice coffee and the bridge team know not to talk to me for at least 20 minutes. In the hotel itself, I think the piazza is the heart of the ship and that really, Princess, have developed those so well. Commodore Nick, it's, it's a great honor and pleasure to interview you. I look forward to sailing with you again on another itinerary uh, very, very soon. You know, a big part of any cruise vacation is experiencing the destinations. And the only way to do that is with a proper shore excursion provided by your cruise ship. And the gentleman on board the Enchanted Princess does it better than anyone. His name is Joseph, and he is the shore excursion manager. Joseph, how are you? I'm good, Bill. Thanks for having me. 20 years with Princess Cruises today. It is 20 years, wow. yes. But what brought you to sea? I actually um, started uh, on an entry level, then just uh, make my way up to you know where I am right now as a shore excursions manager. What advice do you have to the first time cruiser before they book a shore excursion? For me, as a suggestion, I encourage those first time cruising and then taking excursion through us is the best of because it highlights those points of interest, I would say. Well, Joseph, congratulations, first of all, on 20 years and here's to a, another 20 years and uh, you are a, a very important part of the entire cruise equation Thank to make you. the guests happy and you have exceeded their expectations this cruise for sure. Congratulations. It's time to kick off another day on board the Enchanted Princess. We are approaching St. John's and it's a great day to be cruising. Welcome to St. John, New Brunswick on the Bay of Fundy, one of the oldest incorporated cities in Canada. We're standing in front of the farmer's market, the city market, one of the oldest farmer's market in Canada, and we're about to explore this amazing destination. St. John's, a city on Newfoundland's island off Canada's Atlantic coast, is the capital of Newfoundland's and Labrador's province. Its harbor was settled by the British in the 1600s. Downtown is known for its colorful row houses. 
St. John's was initially a commercial trading outpost for Europeans engaged in the fishing industry. While the fishery is still important, today the city is known as the main service center for the province's offshore oil and gas industry. Now that we're back on the ship early today, we can explore more of the exciting Enchanted Princess. Find your way around the Enchanted Princess and navigate to your friends and family with the Medallion Class app. Get turn-by-turn -turn directions to various venues around the ship and easily locate your shipmates. You can also message them anywhere around the ship. Indulge in the private getaway with a private cabana and lounge chair in the sanctuary, an exclusive adult-only retreat. Tomorrow we are off to Halifax. Hey everybody, welcome to Halifax, Nova Scotia. Did you know that Halifax was home to one of the longest boardwalks in the world? Also the Maritime Museum, the Titanic Exhibition is right here as well. It's a little rainy today, but that won't deter us from going ashore. Let's go. Walking across the boardwalk in Halifax and experiencing the history of this destination has been wonderful. Entering Pier 21 and seeing the Canadian train on the left is such a beautiful historical sight. Getting up close and personal with the history of Halifax is so impactful and viewing history in such a tangible way is extremely special. Stepping onto this train and taking a look at what the immigrants may have experienced has been very eye-opening. This is the heartbeat of the facility. Behind me are letters that have been left behind from those who have immigrated through this shed in appreciation of this facility coming through to Canada. For example, my grandmother came through from Austria. My grandfather, Hermann, came through from Germany. Some of these letters are just heart-wrenching, but this is the facility that made it all happen for all those that have immigrated into Canada. This has been such a key part of history. The Maritime Museum takes guests into the history of everything pertaining from small craft boat building and ships throughout the years. Being able to get so close to these vessels and looking at the artifacts that were so crucial to the time serves as an educational experience. Viewing exhibits and reading stories by those who actually lived it is something I will never forget. It's a sea day today on board the Enchanted Princess, and we are beyond excited to show you more of the ship. With 19 decks and 1,830 guest cabins, this ship can efficiently hold a vast amount of guests on board. On a sea day, most guests tend to find a place to relax on board and catch up on everything going on at home. Today was full of exploring the ship and enjoying every part of the overall cruise experience. Unfortunately, this is the last day of the cruise, and it will be heading back to New York tomorrow morning. We are now back in New York after a once-in-a-lifetime adventure aboard the Enchanted Princess. From start to finish, Princess has made it effortless for us to enjoy this wonderful cruise. Discovering these new destinations with Princess was so significant. I will never forget this and I am so glad that I can share this experience with everyone watching. Until next time, I'm Bill Panoff, and happy cruising.